Tide continues to make its move up the Gulf Coast. Good evening, everyone. I'm James Newman. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Within the last two hours, FWC releasing this updated tracking map right here. It shows the bloom reaching the north end of Anna Maria Island. ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson is live on the island, and Jake's scientists are busy tracking the impact. Yeah, this red tide is moving north. Actually, scientists telling us this afternoon that there are some small levels of it on Pinellas County beaches. And what it does is it kills fish like you see right here on this Anna Maria Island Beach. And now scientists are telling us larger animals who can normally handle this for several days are now dying. At Moat Marine. This is an extremely unusual event for us. It's already all hands on deck helping birds and fish. Every time that pager goes off, we're wondering if we're going to have another one. But now the calls are for stranded dolphins, six in 24 hours. We were keeping our fingers crossed that we weren't going to start seeing the cetaceans or dolphins wash up, but um, unfortunately, we're that's what we're dealing with now. The red tide impacting even bigger mammals. FWC sending out these pics showing how red tide killed a whale shark. It breaks my heart to see the death of these marine mammals on my shore. Susie Fox has spent more than 10 years running the Anna Maria Turtle Watch program. Moat says 60 sea turtles are showing signs of red tide. You know, the guys live here year round and they're gonna need to nibble on this stuff. So the quicker this stuff can move offshore for us, the better the adults are gonna do. We're gearing up for it to get worse. Back here live, Manatee County officials, they were relying on volunteers to pick up all these dead fish, but now it's gotten so bad, they actually posted a job to hire people to pick up the fish for 12 bucks an hour. Reporting live on Anna Maria Island, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.